this has been such a hoo-ha, hasn't it? It yeah. really, really has. So tell me your story. You wanted to lose a bit of weight. Yep. Got asked to do the DVD. Yep. Now, did they put you on some kind of strange, like you were only allowed to have a carrot a day or something? <laughs> I mean, what, what happened? What was it? I mean, like anybody who's wanting to lose weight, whether you're in the public eye or not, you are going to have to lower your calorie intake if you want to do that. You're going to have to make more sensible decisions. Sure. So on my journey, yes, I did go on a diet. Mm. Um, but it wasn't ridiculous. It wasn't ludicrous. It wasn't anything wacky. It was just about making more sensible decisions in what I was putting in my mouth. Well, that's the thing. You're only going to lose weight if you eat less. Or sensible. Sensible. Eat in a sensible way. That's not to say that you, you're starving yourself. You no. eat in a sensible way. And you do exercise that you love. Exactly. The, the thing was, you got too thin and you weren't happy. Well, that's completely right. And I've also been really honest about that all the way through. Yep. And I don't blame the fitness DVD for that either. That's just who I am. And as well as the fact that I've grown up, I'm mm. now 30. I think all of these things have led me to just being a little bit more measured, yeah. a little bit more sensible, and finding the healthy weight, me happy weight. Because the thing is, these DVDs promise that you can lose weight. Yes. And of course, as you said, if you don't eat as much and you're moving around, of course you are. Mm -hmm. The thing that annoyed me about all of this was mm -hmm. it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable if you're on a diet, you come off a diet, yeah. and the weight inevitably mm -hmm. goes back on again. Of course it does. Well, I can't argue with you, but it's just, it's, it's, it makes perfect sense. Like, for me, being a size six was was amazing for a while. Yeah. But there's not an awful lot of Pop-Tarts and Prosecco involved when you're a size six. <laughs> no. And I can't live life without and them. And you were right. very honest and you said you yeah. were miserable. Yeah. You might have looked in your head, you might have looked at yourself and thought, I look amazing, or mm -hmm. I look like what society tells me is amazing, yeah. which is far too thin in my opinion, um, but now you're a size 10 and you look the way you're supposed to. Thank you. You're, you're, you do though. And you're I think happy. everybody's got a, everybody's got a size they're supposed to be. Yeah. It can be a size six if, if you're a tiny That's person. It. it can be a size 16, 18 if you're a slightly bigger person. That's what you're supposed to be as long as you're healthy. It's completely subjective and everybody's different. And I'm not here to sort of like talk about anyone else's journeys or anyone else's experiences. But the one thing I will say about fitness DVDs is they give an amazing entry point into fitness, into sort of health nutrition for some women who probably are a little bit intimidated of gyms or scared. Yeah. So for that, for that reason, I will say I do think they can be good. They can, yeah. they can, as long as they don't give claims that are false or misleading. Of course, That's they've the got thing. to be honest and they they've do. got to do what it says. And and there shouldn't be airbrushing and there shouldn't be all of that and there shouldn't be people making claims saying you can lose, you know, I don't know, three stone in, in three a, minutes. a day. Because that is just <laughs> ridiculous. And but it's, it's something that's became a huge part of my life, something that I stand by. But you still work out, don't you? All the you time. Still do it. You just yeah. don't do it as intensive as you were for that DVD. Just I've got more of a balance. Yeah. Like there is, there's workouts in my life, there's spin classes, there's weight training, but there's also pizza and there's also gin and tonics. Because you have to. That's what life's about. Because you have to. You balance. have to. Otherwise, you are, as you said, you were blinking miserable. So nice it's all about balance. Short. It's all absolutely about balance. Now look, I need to ask you Go lovely on. things because <laughs> the last time we were in here and talking about your man and talking about getting married, it's been on hold a little bit, hasn't it? Because you've been doing the I'm a Celebrity Australian version. Yes. Ah, yeah. Okay. So I've just got back from South Africa um, where they filmed the show. There I am with the lovely Paul Burrell. Was he in it as well? He Goodness was. me. Goodness me. Was it, was it like the British one? So it's longer. They run theirs for mm. six weeks, whereas right. we only run ours for around three to four. Okay. Um, and that is a huge difference. Like, yeah. you really feel it. <laughs> you start um, to think there's been no other reality in my life apart from this. That's it. You yeah. start to believe, like, I was born in this jungle like <laughs> this is just me but did um, you enjoy it was it all right loved it Lorraine yeah. you know me I'm a big jungle fan yeah second one now um I could go for the hat trick and do the German <laughs> who knows but um I think it was an amazing experience but being away from John was yeah, just too hard it was too much no contact at all obviously you None. don't no, absolutely nothing and oh there he is man look how handsome who wants to be away from that for four weeks well this is very true I'm crackers I'm not this doing it is again. very very true <laughs> when you and should you wish so you'll have lovely babies um, should you so wish it's looking and like if it works for you it's looking like it could be something that's happening we <laughs> are great you're practicing <laughs> Doing a lot of practice in the rain, especially after four weeks' absence. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. But the wedding's still on. It'll happen. It'll happen when it happens. It's going to happen next summer. 
Good. Between me and you, July, you're inviting the post. I would <laughs> love that. I would love that. Listen, thank you for coming no, in. No, thank you for It's always us. really good to see you. Thank and you. And congratulations on um, doing the Amazon because you got right to the final. I did. You I got just, right to the final. Very close. <laughs> it's good. Good to see you, love.